If you're celebrating this holiday season, you may also find yourself hovering over a bowl of eggnog or avoiding one, depending on your taste. The creamy concoction has long stirred debate over its place on the holiday cocktail menu. And in recent years, eggnog has found competition from other drinks like Coquito, a rum-based coconut drink with Puerto Rican roots. I like the sound of it. Our our, for our series, The Dish, Vlad Dutier looks at why, despite the polarizing reputation of Egla, eggnog and its cousins, it has stood the test of time. True to its name, authentic eggnog starts with, you guessed it, eggs. So we're gonna whip that up. But as we learned during a recent visit to Stockade Tavern in Kingston, New York, there's so much more to it. We're using cognac, regular heavy cream. Owners Paul Maloney and his wife Jenny have been serving eggnog to their customers for the last 12 years. Maloney uses a recipe dubbed the Baltimore eggnog, which dates back to the 1800s. And here in Kingston, the first capital of New York State, it's likely some of the earliest settlers were drinking an even older version. The Colonials drank a ton of eggnog. New England was a major rum exporter and maker. Pirate juice, they call it. Right. And so it needed to be tamed with a little bit of cream, some sugar, some eggs. Why is there such a love-hate relationship with eggnog? For me, it's a pure love relationship. <laughs> and, uh, but I, under I understand that it's very bad for you. It's no worse for you than sucking on the tailpipe of a crosstown bus. <laughs> <laughs> At the Dead Rabbit in New York City, we met up with cocktail historian Dave Wondrich, who just completed a nearly 900-page guide. He let us sample his homemade eggnog. Cheers. Cheers. It's pretty good. It's yeah. pretty good. Who was the person who said, you know what would be really great? Eggs and cream and booze. And well, I'm going to drink yeah. that. <laughs> I mean, some form it goes back to antiquity or certainly the Middle Ages. It does. It wasn't always a seasonal drink. People did drink it year round, but New Year's Day was a big deal. The women of the house would stay home with a huge bowl of punch or eggnog or both, and the men would go to all their friends' houses and have a drink. By the end of the 19th century, it's really just a special occasion thing. It has a flavor that gives you comfort. Yeah. When you order a martini, I don't get comfort from that. Well, see, that might be where we differ. Oh, but... do you really? Has <laughs> it now become a drink for the new world? I mean, are they still drinking it or any other place? There's uh, Coquito in Puerto Rico where they use uh, coconut milk. Coquito means little coconut, a nod to its main ingredient. The Caribbean holiday treat has grown in popularity over the last few years. We have rum and then we always have coconuts. On a recent visit to Puerto Rico, we stopped in Factoria Bar and met bartender Roberto Bercia, who makes a recipe passed down by his grandmother. The pinch of ginger, it gives you a little bit of taste, but also a texture. When you first put ginger into your coquito, where did that come from? My grandmother used to give you hot milk with ginger honey. You make memories from the experiences and then also you Remind memories from your palate. This is your glass. Wow, yeah, okay. Not unlike what Maloney hopes to achieve all the way in Kingston. What was last year like with the pandemic raging? Oh, I wasn't giving out much eggnog, which was sad. People would come still to our window where we were selling drinks out the window and it was touching. How does it make you feel when someone who's not been a fan of eggnog says, you know what, I'm converted? That's it feels great. It happens all the time. We'll ask them, people like, that's not for me, but you can give my date some, and I go, I'll go back, and they're like, you know what, I had a sip. I, I, like, <laughs> now we're going to put some nutmeg. I've never actually seen a real live no nutmeg. Way. Are you kidding? <laughs> Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Cheers. Thanks Cheers. a lot. Thanks for your help. Thank you. you. Wait, wait, so why does Vlad get all the food and drink <laughs> stories? What's going on? You guys said you are going to help me out on that. Yeah. I love me some eggnog. Matter of fact, I, I Tony, look too. in your cup. I got some eggnog for you. Yeah, I might I raise my too. glass to pour it out. Not for me. I like the non-alcoholic kind, but I haven't seen it that thick and um, curdly before, so right. I'm very curious about that. That type of consistency. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're big but fans I, of eggnog. Yes, I, I like fans. the idea of the coquito over big the eggnog. Fans. I also like the idea of being a cocktail historian. I always thought a cocktail historian was someone who remembers the night before, but apparently it's, you gotta know the whole history. <laughs> that sounds like a really Not just job. what happened. Oh, well then I'm a historian then. You You're a historian. We're all historians. You can get an eggnog at the grocery store. Do you guys buy Borden's eggnog? Right there in the grocery store. Very good. That's a good one? That's all a right. good one. I'm heading there today. I highly recommend it.